Hello guys, welcome to our channel Cosmovision. Humanity has always been deeply interested in origin of things including the origin of rocks, animals, plants, planets, stars and even ourselves. Every person in his or her life would have thought about how this universe existed. The general answers they get for that questions are it may be created by a divine power or some men's or some scientific theories. Let us discuss some of them in our video. The creation by a divine power is not completely wrong which we will discuss at the end of the video. Some of the men's that ancient people used to believe are that the earth is flat so that we can stand on it. And one of the mostly accepted theories in our solar system is the earth is in the center and all planets, the sun, revolve around it so that the sunrise and the sunset are possible on the earth, which was later disproved by Copernicus. Some used to believe even now that the movement of the planets can affect the personality and future of individuals. First, let's know what is universe. The universe is all of space and time and their components including planets, stars, galaxies and all other forms of matter and energy. The age of universe is 13.8 billion years. The existence of universe, its origin and nature has been a subject of explaining in almost all civilizations and cultures. And these are just means. The science tells us all those means are different from what really happened. Let us see some of the theories which are proposed by some of the famous scientists which tells us about the universe. These theories include Big Bang Theory, Steady State Theory and Pulsating Theory. So now let us know about the Big Bang Theory. In the year 1927, an astronomer named Gerald Slamaiti had a big idea. He said that a very long time ago, the universe started as just a single small particle which is less than the size of an atom. He said the universe stretched and expanded to get as big as it is now, and that it could keep on stretching till now. The universe is very big place and it's been around for a very long time. Thinking about how it all started is hard to imagine. Just two years later, an astronomer named Edwin Hubble noticed that the other galaxies were moving away from us. And that's not all, the farthest galaxies were moving faster than the ones close to us. That means that the universe was still expanding, just like Lamaiti thought. If things were moving apart, it means that long time ago, everything is close together. So now, we will learn about the small atom-like substance which forms this universe. When the universe began, it was just hot, tiny particles mixed with light and energy. It was nothing like what we see now. As everything expanded and took up more space, it cooled down. The tiny particles grouped together. They formed atoms. Then those atoms grouped together. Over lots of time, atoms, matter and energy come together to form stars and galaxies. The first stars created bigger atoms and groups of atoms. That led to more stars being born. At the same rate, galaxies were crashing and grouping together. As new stars were being born and dying, then the things like asteroids, comets, planets and black holes formed. The universe is 13 billion, 800 million years old. That's 13.8 billion. Most of us call this Big Bang because this led to many big things, but calling it Everywhere stretch is better. Coming to the next, steady state theory. Sir Herbert Bondi, Thomas Gould, and Sir Fred Hawley were the British astronomers who proposed steady state theory. This theory is a continuation to the Big Bang theory, which states the origin of the universe. Steady state theory in cosmology, a view that the universe is always expanding but maintaining a constant average density with matter being continuously created to form new stars and galaxies at the same rate 
that the old ones become unobservable as a consequence of their increasing distance and velocity of recession. This idea came to him because everything which has to expand should have a constant level so that the universe is also in the same manner. While from the 1940s to 1950s, the astrophysical community was equally divided between supporters of Big Bang Theory and supporters of Steady State Theory. But it was disproved in the year 1950 by the Cambridge radio astronomer Martin Rayleigh showed that there were more radio galaxies at great distances than they were nearby, thus showing that the universe had evolved over time, a result that could not be explained in steady state theory. And coming to the final theory, which is called pulsating theory. This theory is proposed by an astronomer named J. C. Bose in the year 1923. It is also known as pulsation theory. The pulsating theory a variation of Big Bang Theory in which universe goes through successive periods of expansion and contraction. At the end of the compression stage, when the universe is contracted into small volume of high density, there is a probably a breakup of the universe called Bang. The pulsating theory was first proposed as a possible explanation as early as 1879 and was applied to Kephet in 1914, and further it was developed by Arthur Eddingston in 1917 to 18. Eddingston found that if stars have roughly the same kind of internal structure, then the period multiplies. So, many theories there many were proved and many were disproved. There are many questions raised against the proof theories. For example, Big Bang Theory as a proof theory has many unanswered questions such as what happened before it. Where did the atom like substance come from? These questions gave a base for the believers who believe that the universe is created by a divine power, but the research still continues.